Hi guys, Alex here back with another video and today's video is actually a part two to my last video where I showed you how to track the leads you were getting from the ads you were running on YouTube. Now in today's video, I'll actually be taking it a step further and showing you how to track the purchases you're getting from the leads that clicked on your ad. This video is, however, how to track purchases specifically on the Digistore platform. Now, if you tried this on your own, you've probably come across an error message on Digistore saying that it only accepts tracking codes from Facebook and Google Analytics. So here's what you need to do. Go to Google, type in Google Analytics, and it should be the first link that pops up. What you want to do is go ahead and sign in or create an account using the same email that you created your Google AdWords account with. Next, you want to make sure these accounts are linked. You can do that in Google Analytics by clicking on the admin tab in the bottom left corner. From here, you can go ahead and click on Google Ads linking in the second column. Now you should be able to see whether your account is linked or not. If it's not, just go ahead and click on the blue link and go ahead and link the account. All right, so here's how you link your accounts on Google Ads. Go ahead and click the gear icon at the top, select Setup, and under Setup, click Linked Accounts. Where you see Google Analytics, select Details. And here you'll be able to see the status of whether or not your accounts are linked. Now that we've done that, we can head back over to the admin tab of our Google Analytics account and we're going to grab the global site tag that we're going to use to put on our Digistore order confirmation page. Since all we'll be doing on Google Analytics is tracking our purchases, we only need to put it on the order confirmation page. We don't need to put it on any other page of the sales funnel. In the middle column, you can go ahead and click on tracking info. Next, select tracking code. Go ahead and left click on the text to copy it to your clipboard and now we're going to head over to our Digistore account. Over on the right under account select tracking. Now select set up new tracking. Now we're going to go ahead and give it a name. I'll go with Google Pixel. We want to uncheck all because we only want to track the front end product of our funnel. Leave it as initial orders and change this to order confirmation page. All right, this is where we're going to go ahead and paste our tracking code. And now we can save. All right, we're going to head back over to our Google Analytics admin tab. And now in the third column, we're going to create a goal. This is like creating a conversion on Google Ads. We're pretty much telling Google Analytics what we want to track this page as. All right, so all you need to do is click on the red button new goal and you'll be on a page similar to mine. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is give our goal a name. I've already named mine. So the type that we're going to use is destination. And this basically means when a person makes it to this destination page, we want our pixel to fire. Go ahead, hit continue. All right, so with goal details, we'll be specifying where exactly we want the pixel to fire. This, this could be the full URL. For me, I'm going to select begins with, so I don't have to paste the entire URL. Now we're going to go ahead and give the value, the, the value of the product, and my instance would be $25. We can now select save and head back over to our Google Ads account. All right, we can click on the gear icon at the top and under measurements, we can select conversions. Go ahead and select the plus icon. And unlike the last video, we're going to select import. Choose Google Analytics and select continue. Now you can see that the goal we created in Google Analytics is available as a metric that we can use to track our purchases in Google Ads. Like always, if you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and subscribe for future videos and I'll see you in the next one.